Mark Kendall was a young engineer wanting to revolutionise an old medical technique. It's really about improving the reach of vaccines. So I decided to take a step back and think about a different way of doing that. And being bored in a presentation provided me the scope to just to think and, and doodle. Several years later, the nano patch was developed. It's been hailed a game changer in the way we deliver vaccines. First invented in 1853, the needle and syringe is still the most common way to deliver vaccines. But this has problems. Most of us don't like the needle. That can lead to needle phobia, that's holding back people getting vaccinated. There's needle stick injuries. Uh, that becomes a very big problem in a place like Africa. But beyond that, also the vaccine's in liquid form. And the problem there is uh, you need to refrigerate the vaccine. And that's expensive and, and cumbersome. So Mark, how do you actually apply the nano patch? This is a, a mock-up of an applicator. Uh, normally we'd have a nano patch in this housing, but in this particular case, not. So this is how we apply it. And that's the process. So that's it? That's it. No pain? No pain. The prototype contains hundreds of tiny projections, each dry coated with the vaccine. They've tested several different types of vaccines like influenza, human papillomavirus, and even malaria. Most vaccines are injected into the muscle where there's only a few immune cells, but the nano patch delivers it where we need it most. Just below the skin is an abundant supply of immune cells, so the amount of vaccine required is a hundredfold less. The nano patch presents the possibility of just using a fraction of the dose compared to the needle and syringe, and we've proven that in the mouse model, and we seek to, to prove that in, in humans. 3D mapping of the skin shows the immune cells in green engulfing the vaccine in red. The interaction is quick. Our published work shows that it's two minutes of application time. Uh, more recent work suggests that it could be down to just a few seconds. In the event of a pandemic, these patches could be posted out to thousands of people because they don't need refrigeration and they can be self-administered. But beyond delivering vaccines, the nano patch is now showing a huge potential in the area of diagnosing diseases like dengue fever. Symptoms from malaria and, and dengue are identical. And if you're trying to differentiate between the two before applying your medication, uh, you could apply a patch, turn around and on the spot, get a color to tell you what you have. It's been over a decade in the making, but Mark's sketch on his notepad will soon become a reality. It's one of the best feelings I think you can have, uh, that you have an idea and it turns out to work better than you'd expected. It's a journey that takes many years, it's a long game, uh, but it's one that we're committed to and working hard on.